All right, thank you, my friend. My friend. Yep, yep. So this is it right here, but it's all powered down. Um, I will say when you power it up, and if you have like, if you go to like a pure color to test the wall, do um, do like a pure color. And if you'll notice if there's any of the squares are dimmed, go to the brightness settings, which is on the main menu. Everything is controlled from right here, main menu. Go to brightness, jog it up and down a little bit. It'll fix that dim problem for you in a heartbeat, okay? And then up here it'll say, you always wanna be a SDIN. Let me go over here, watch out for this because it'll rip your back apart. And on this side, right there is where you're gonna put your 3G SDI. This is, we're gonna reverse, we're gonna reverse this the opposite way, okay? So basically this is our input coming from one of the X lines. So you get yourself a 50 foot BNC cable, plug it into that one. And just be super careful walking up here. Oh god. This is stupid. What did I do this? <laughs> Should have walked yeah. the other side. Uh, Alright, we're good. good. Ooh. We're good. Yeah, there's Yay. Yay, we're good. Alright, so reversing the past side of this. Are they locked this too? Okay, great. Alright, so over here, this is where your triax would go, right guys? Right all back in here. Mm -hmm. yep. There we go. All right, so okay, so this is this is where you got to memorize a letter and a number. Okay, so we're going from here to the SGHDI SDIN, three G SDI. So let's just pretend it's X six. Okay, put that in the back of your head. X six. Okay, cool. Whatever one you want, X one through X six. Okay, then memorize that one. Go up here. Roll it out like the way it is. We're gonna case it up today because before uh, the hurricane reasons. It, it usually, it's usually out like that. Just roll the bad boy up here. Stick it right here. Put your monitor right there, and then you're good to go. Put your keyboard and your mouse. Rock and roll. Okay, so we're thinking X numbers. We we'll picked X six. Get a little twenty foot jump. Not even that. Go from here, which will be the output of the Gaffin from what I showed you. Make sure you strip it, tack, tack it down. Tape it down like you normally would, and pick one of these V10s or V9s, whatever one that works well for you and that obviously comms we're not using. So let's pretend we're using V10. Okay, so we have X6, V10. Okay, last, last is the connection of the two. And that's the easy part. Okay. I probably covered everything up in here too. Right? <laughs> yeah. Can do that in case it leaks? That's okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right here is your little patching system. Take your cable. Here's your X's right here. Here's your V's right here. So we said what? V. 10 X6. Okay, V10. I get my damn fingers around. That'd be great. Edit that out of the video. Okay, so. <laughs> and then there you go. So that's your connection points. That, that makes sense to everybody? Everybody cool with that? Cool. It's just V to the X. That's all it is. You're going from your the cons you're going from the hippo to the wall, from the X to the to the, to the processor, and then that's the patch. And that's how to patch it in the video? That, yeah, video does not touch it at all. Okay. Yeah, they don't go. Well, well I was asking because last time I was uh, I was technical director for a live lab mm -hmm. and we were running hippo and they asked me if I wanted it patched in and I actually told them no. Yeah, it's actually yeah. easier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, well, because the way I was thinking about it, I'm like, why I'm like, why would I really need the input on the TriCaster? If yeah, it's plus be, it's, it's, a, it, it's also a lighting thing. Yeah, it's like I'm not. You know, I'm I mean, not, what's, the, what's the real point of it, really, anyway? Yeah, it's not like I'm pushing what's on Hippo to the. Also, to the I found out that uh, this was another one we were bingo. When we first got the system, I hooked up the system, and we were getting this. Um, when I hooked my laptop to it, I was like, oh, looks fantastic. Awesome. Yay, we can do Hippo now in the live labs. Great. I hooked up the Hippo. Beautiful. I hooked up the Genlock. And all of a sudden, I'm getting a 13, this doesn't even make any sense in number, think about it. 13.2 second refresh, not a refresh roll. I can't say it any better than this. There's, there's 30 panels on the top and 30 on the bottom, 10 across each way, okay? A and B outputs. I was getting a refresh roll, like it, was like, it looked like a refresh roll, it's the best way I can say it. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And then we flipped them and it went down. Almost like a bad CT. Yeah, it was like, then it, went, then it went down, I was like, huh. So I wasn't sure if it was a gen lock and maybe it was, there's a tri-level sink. Maybe that can only do dual level sink. We, thought, we had a couple other theories we thought it was. What we ended up with is like, let's just see what happens in live lab and play around with it. And it works. So you don't need a gen lock this at all. So 
but you would normally want to, yes, okay? okay. There's a Genlock monitor. Um, it's an older system, I'm not sure if that was it, or just maybe it was an Ager system. Not quite sure. Sarah, just pick, pick the kicks? Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs>